Hello guys, welcome to this particular episode. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. You already know what we do here. I bring you everything Big Brother from the analysis and also life after a Big Brother. So in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the disruptors and the final mission Big Brother has for them. So guys, let's without further ado, let's dive into this video. If we all remember on Sunday during the Life Eviction show, Lawrence and the Big Brother brought out a new twist whereby the disruptors, which are Nero, Taki and Fahima, will be ranked by us, the viewers, and whomever has the highest vote will be promoted from a disruptor to a main to a main housemate. That means and the housemate that is ranked the highest will be able to compete for the whooping sum of 2 million rands, so, which is the cash price. So, have you been voting? If not, head to Mzamzi Magic and vote for your favorite disruptor. Mm -hmm. Throughout this season, Big Brother has been dishing out missions of omissions to these uh, disruptors on a weekly basis that these disruptors have to carry out. So as Big Brother, he has been impressed with this house, with these uh, disruptors. That's why he's putting them to test for us viewers to vote our favorite. So this week, Big Brother gave them their final tax. And guys, remember, whomever is voted the highest will stay. And the remaining two with the lowest vote will be evicted in the house come Sunday. So if you want your favorite to stay in the house, keep on voting. So let's move into the reason why I'm here today. During this week, especially on Tuesdays, is always direct section. So when it's time for direct section, Big Brother called in the housemates one after the other and asked them a couple of questions about how their week has been going through and uh, what they felt like during the life eviction show. This week, Big Brother asked the housemates uh, how they feel and uh, if they have created any bond or if they have been bonding with any particular housemate. So they answered and uh, for Fahima, Fahima was like, yes, she has been uh, bonding with a lot of people, but she doesn't know why all of a sudden all the people she has been uh, creating bond and uh, vibing with decided to start showing her attitude. So people asked her who in particular are you talking about and she said it's uh, Shuenza, Z and uh, Mish. And uh, for her, she still don't know the reason why Mish is uh, giving her attitude. But for Shwenza, she he feel, she feels like Shwenza has a crush on uh, Willy. And seeing how close Fahima and Willy are, uh, Shwenza is kind of not happy with the whole uh, connection between Willy and uh, Fahima. And in Fahima's uh, response, she is like, Willy is my boy. There's nothing sexual or anything going on between I and Willy. We are just having fun. We are friends and that's what I'm going to do since I know that this thing is hurting someone like Shwenza. I'm going to keep on doing it so to see how she uh, she will react in the show. And uh, for Z, she said that the only reason why she thinks Z is showing her attitude is because Z wants her out of the house. That Z is the most beautiful girl in the house and she, Fahima, is also beautiful. But Z wants to be the only beautiful girl in the house. So that's why she feels like Z is planning on getting her out of the house to reign supreme as the only beautiful girl in the house. And uh, moving on, Big Brother also asked her about other housemates that she has bonded with. She said she bonded with Mac Jr. But uh, she doesn't know why uh, with Mac Jr. that it's on and off with the both of them. So she doesn't know where she, stood, she stands with Mark Jr. And another person she has bonded with again was uh, is Willie. Say she is bonded with Willie and also for Senaye. She also pointed out that maybe the reason why Z is having a mixed feeling for her is because of the bond she has been sharing with Senaye. But she doesn't care about that. If that is going to trigger z to react that is what she'll keep on doing she'll keep calling with Sinai. she'll keep coming body with her with him so that's what she said and uh, for taki big brother also asked him who he has been bonding with he said uh, willie and then also mac jr so guys in a way i've been watching this show and i feel like mac jr has been playing the 
lone wolf game but for this housemate to come and feel and say that they have been bonding with him i think it shows that okay maybe i'm not seeing it the right way or maybe they have their own separate time that they bond and then also for taki taki said that yeah she ha he has been bonding with neo and we do of them being disruptors that they always hang about and talk about how they will disrupt the show and people seen the two of them hanging together started uh, casting out rumors that okay these people are kind of building something romantic or sexual but he uh, kind of said that nothing is going on but with the amount of time they have been spending together that they are beginning to kind of get intimate with each other guys not the intimately intimately but they have tried they've been asking themselves questions that matters they are trying to get to know each other that kind of intimate so that's what uh, he said so and then this week big brother decided to give Taki and the rest of the disruptors the fight their final mission we the viewers we know is their final mission but them they don't know it's their final mission so for this week's mission big brother have taxed the disruptors to prank someone like Pale, Sinai and Willy to prank these three housemates and the prank they are going to pull off is to hide their item one of their item one item from each of these three housemates to hide it and keep it hidden to the end of this week and then if the housemates are looking for it they should team up with those housemates and help them look for that item that they have hidden and they should help them look for it so guys it's a prank of hide and seek with the housemates item that is the whole mission big brother has for this housemate and the duration of this mission is from today till thursday and guys i just want to put this out there the team for this week for the awaja presentation the team for this week is health is wealth so for this week's uh, tax presentation this housemate are going to come up with different because big brother has given them books and everything to do their research and uh, after this uh, after the whole research on thursday they're gonna be presenting us with ideas and uh, everything that they have learned and uh, the topic they will be covering uh, on the health is wealth uh, presentation will be about physical health they will be talking about the physical health and then uh, emotional health and then also sexual health so in sexual health they're going they are going to be covering about the importance of consent when it comes to relationship uh, sexual relationship the importance of giving consent and then for the last uh, section they are going to be talking about is mental health so in mental health they will be talking about the disadvantage of body shaming people especially with someone like Pale, the way the housemate have been talking about her so that's one of the angles they will be talking about and for this week big brother also gave them a step tracker in commemoration with the whole health is wealth so for every day that passed by this housemate will complete five thousand steps which will also be included from what big brother will use to judge the outcome of this week's wager whether they will pass or not so this week they have to walk five thousand steps every day and after the end of the week big brother will tally the steps from each housemate and then it will go into knowing if they will pass their wager or not so guys this is where i'll be dropping this video i urge you to please if you are coming across my channel for the first time hit the subscribe button guys I know 86% 86, 86 of you have been uh, watching my video without subscribing so please I urge you hit the subscribe button share to your friends turn on your post notification so you know when next I drop a new video and then also thank you thank you thank you for watching I'll see you guys on the next one bye